Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to edit a drop-down menu. Using techniques from the previous lesson, insert a drop-down menu into a web page. Now, let's edit the appearance of this drop-down menu. First, click on the blue Spry menu bar above the first item box and the menu bar properties will appear within the Properties Inspector. Click Item 1 and type a name for that tab in the text field as you want it to appear on your web page. Press the Enter key to confirm your choice. The name you have chosen will now appear both in the Spry menu as well as within the Properties Inspector. Next, click on item 1.1 to name the first submenu tab. Enter the appropriate name for this tab in the text field and then hit the Enter key. You can repeat these steps for all of the other tabs within your Spry drop-down menu. If you'd like to add or subtract an item, use the corresponding plus or minus button above its particular menu. To move an item up or down the list, use the corresponding small black triangle to make adjustments. It's also possible to make an item or sub-item serve as a hyperlink. To do this, click on the menu item that's going to be a link and then type the URL into the link field in the Properties Inspector, then press the Enter key. If you want to link to a different page within the same website, you can just click the small folder icon to the right of the link text field in the Properties Inspector and navigate to find the page in your local root folder and then click to select it. You can also edit the font type, colors, and other associated features of your menu by editing the corresponding CSS rules using the CSS panel. When you are finished editing your drop-down menu, it is vital to save the page in order to preserve your Spry widget settings. Choose Save from the File drop-down menu found in the menu bar. Your page will be saved with your new Spry settings and Dreamweaver will automatically create the necessary files which enable your drop-down menu to function. Remember, the code in these files is what enables the widget to function, and it will be saved in a folder called Spry Assets. Dreamweaver creates this folder for you in your local root folder. For the drop-down menu to work, this folder must be uploaded to your hosting server along with the rest of your website. It is important not to change the name or location of this Spry folder, as the drop-down menu will not function without it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.